plastic surgery is one of those things you simply can't undo. And while some Hollywood stars have gone under the knife with positive results, some of them eventually found themselves wishing they hadn't had all that work done. Join Facts First as we discuss several Hollywood stars who deeply regret their plastic surgery. Melissa Gilbert Best known for her work on Little House on the Prairie, in which she played Laura Ingalls, Gilbert told the press in 2018 she's done going under the knife. She explained she had spent much of her life wrestling with the fact she was growing older in the limelight. Now she's learned to embrace the fact that she's aging and intends to do so naturally. Over the years, Gilbert has done just about everything to combat the reality of growing older. She's had a nose job, breast augmentation, various fillers and Botox treatments, and a ton of other work. The reason she's felt the need to do all this comes down to what she says is Hollywood's preoccupation with youth. She told the outlet First for Women that women in Tinseltown aren't allowed to age, gain weight, or simply be themselves. At 57, Gilbert no longer wants to play that game. After spending decades in the spotlight, she wants to finally be who she really is without having to constantly alter herself to fit the entertainment industry's unrealistic expectations. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. And stick around to find out about more stars who regret their plastic surgery. Kenny Rogers from the 70s to the 90s, the late Kenny Rogers was one of the most prolific singers in the country music scene. Some of his best-known hits included Lady, She Believes in Me, and The Gambler. He's also well-known for his many duets with the queen of country herself, Dolly Parton. Rogers additionally did his fair share of acting. He was a man with a distinct look. With his trademark beard and sunglasses, combined with that velvety smooth singing voice, Rogers spent the last six decades of his life making his fans swoon when he took the stage. In the late 90s, Rogers went under the knife and had several cosmetic procedures done that drastically altered his appearance, leaving him virtually unrecognizable to fans. In 2006, Rogers told People magazine he wasn't satisfied with the work he had done on his eyes. He complained there was too much tension around his eyelids and it was driving him crazy. In 2012, he revealed to CBS This Morning the only reason why he chose to have surgery was boredom combined with a desire to change up his image during a lull in his career. Ultimately, he said he regretted having it done and that he was curious what he would have looked like had he never gone under the knife. Though he tried to stay busy after having all that work done, Rogers inevitably had to slow down and tour less often. In 2017, he gave his last farewell tour before passing away from natural causes in 2020. Jane Fonda Actress and devout activist Jane Fonda freely admits she's had plastic surgery. She also admits she's not that proud of the fact she's had so many different procedures done. In the documentary film Jane Fonda in Five Acts, she expressed regret for giving in to the pressure to alter her looks as she aged. At 84, she still looks pretty good for her age, but she told People magazine a few years ago she wouldn't look anything like she does now if she hadn't had a ton of plastic surgery done. She lamented about how society pressures women to look a certain way and expressed how she wished she was braver than she was when facing the realities of her golden years. Jamie Lee Curtis The 62-year-old icon told Us Weekly last year that she can't stand behind altering your face. She explained she's been a longtime advocate for natural beauty, mostly due to her own negative personal experiences with cosmetic surgery. Even though she's had it, she feels now like it's a waste of money. From Botox to liposuction, Curtis says that none of it actually works. Jennifer Grey after starring in Dirty Dancing, Gray infamously went under the knife to have a nose job. The surgery, which she refers to as the nose job from hell, drastically affected her ability to land roles. She told the media in 2012 that she went into the operating room a celebrity and came out anonymous. Since then, she says she feels like she's a once famous star who nobody recognizes anymore. This video is brought to you by Semperd. Semperd is a fragrance subscription service. So just like Netflix gives you access to hundreds of different videos, Semperd gives you access to hundreds of different scents. Semperd gives you the opportunity to have access to 600 different brands at the click of a button. And it's a flexible subscription, so you can skip any month without any penalties. With each subscription, you'll get a 30-day supply of a scent. You can also upgrade to get two to three different bottles a month. All of their scents come with a stylish and colorful case. You will look good, feel good, and smell amazing. The stylish and colorful cases that these come with are super easy to use. All you have to do is twist it to release the sprayer, and then you can spray. When you're ready to change out your scent, all you have to do is just pull the vial right out. This size that they send you of the perfume or cologne 
is actually eight times bigger than what you would get as a sample at a store. It's about a 30 day supply. This month we got a few different scents, but I wanna go over some of my favorites. So we got the Aqua de Parma. This scent is very fresh, very natural smelling. It's very citrusy. We also received the Versace scent. This cologne smells awesome. If you wear this, all of the ladies are gonna be flocking to you. Another fragrance that we're loving right now is the Harmonist Royal Earth. It's very earthy, it's very natural, and it goes great on any day. A nice bottle of perfume or cologne can cost you anywhere between $150 and $500. But with Scentbird, you can get a luxury fragrance for just $7 a month using our code. Scentbird carries designer brands like Gucci, Prada, Versace. They also carry some indie labels like Vince Camuto and The Harmonist. If you're not sure where to start or what scent could be right for you, there's a free quiz on their website. Based on some of your preferences, your previous purchases, and a quiz on their website, Scentbird can help you find a scent that you will love. Never be bored of the scent you're wearing and save hundreds of dollars on unfinished bottles. Make sure you use the coupon code FACTSFIRST to get 55% off your first month with Scentbird. It'll be only $7 for your first month. Kathy Griffin. For years, actress and comedian Kathy Griffin suffered from low self-esteem. In her book, Official Book Club Selection, a memoir according to Kathy Griffin, the star revealed she now can't figure out why she wasted so much of her time worrying about her looks. Even though she's comfortable with who she is, for years she did whatever she could to change her appearance. At 26, she got a nose job. She also became obsessed with her weight. She worked out constantly and starved herself all day while binging at night. She even tried taking speed for a couple weeks to get her weight down, but admits it only made her feel extra hungry afterwards. Eventually, she had liposuction, but after having an awful experience, she had a revelation she didn't need to obsess over her looks. Griffin now uses her experience with cosmetic procedures as inspiration for her stand-up routine. Gwyneth Paltrow Actress turned health guru, Gwyneth Paltrow recently told Harper's Bazaar that when it comes to skincare, she'll try just about anything. Anything that is, except for Botox. While she's done it before, she says Botox just makes her look crazy like, quote, Joan Rivers. Pamela Anderson While she might not entirely regret getting breast implants, the Baywatch star didn't like how big they were. In 1999, Anderson had them reworked to be smaller. When doctors removed the first set, they discovered that one of them had actually developed a leak. After feeling like she was prancing about like Dolly Parton, Anderson wanted to experience what it felt like to embrace her natural beauty once again. Because even though her bosom clearly was one of her biggest assets, she was starting to feel self-conscious about it. Courtney Cox over the years, the Friends star had many different doctors suggest that she have various cosmetic procedures done. After taking their advice, she's now left with layer upon layer of enhancements that she wishes she'd never gotten. Talking to New Beauty in 2017, Cox said that she has now had all her fillers dissolved and is now as close to her natural beauty as possible. She told the outlet she now feels a lot better because she looks more like herself. Sharon Osbourne Former co-host of The Talk, Sharon Osbourne, admitted in 2016 to being on her third face and counting. Even though she's had extensive cosmetic surgeries and procedures done, she says she now regrets it. At certain angles, she says her face even looks plastic. Despite having gone under the knife quite a bit, Osbourne says she's now done trying to fight against the inevitable. At 69 years old, she's ready to start aging the way nature intended. Mickey Rourke after sustaining damage from his boxing career, actor Mickey Rourke underwent a great deal of plastic surgery to, quote, fix his appearance. In 2009, he told the Daily Mail he went to the wrong guy for his surgeries and ended up being very dissatisfied with the results. Now it's time to hear from you. Can you think of other stars we should have included on this list? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.